Hi there, it's Jen, and thanks for joining me. Um, first, I just wanted to say thank you for all the nice comments and all the thumbs up. And for the new subscribers, thank you so much for joining me and being interested in um, my craft room. <laughs> I really do appreciate it. I love looking at others' creative spaces, and so... Um, I'm glad that people enjoy looking at this. So um, what I can say that I have accomplished since I posted my first video, um, today is March 12, 2017, so this is... All right, sorry about that. I had to pause it because my son walked in. <laughs> um, but as you can see, a um, huge difference from the first video. The floor is clean. I mean, it's not sparkly clean, but I just sweep it up, um, cleared everything off, and um, the only thing I didn't do was mop it, and I'm just going to wait until I'm done with the whole thing before I do that. But um, I've moved my kid's table that was right here in between these two legs out, and I put that in the house. And so I'm just going to do kind of a quick um, overview of how I have my stuff now. So this right here was here before, um, and in this half I haven't really changed a whole lot. Um, I've kind of organized a little bit and labeled some things. Um, but there's not a huge change to this other than cleaning up. The other side, when I get it done, will be more dramatic because I'm putting in a new workspace. But right here, I have one of these IKEA. It looks like a towel rack to me. I don't know that that's what it is. I mean, I've seen lots of people hang stuff off of them. But um, this has ribbon. Um, this is my light switch, which I covered in washi tape. And it's kind of like the fabric washi tape. So it's got kind of a little bit of a fabric feel to it. Um, up on top right there, I have... Some stamping up buttons. I'm not actually <laughs> sure why I have those. It's just something I've collected. <laughs> and then on this side is one of the cabinets. Um, all I have in this cabinet is chipboard, so it's... All right, so this, um, as I was saying, sorry, I keep getting nervous. My, my son keeps walking in. But um, I just have chipboard underneath there and plastic and folders, nothing very exciting. <clears throat> right here is my big shot and so I have all my plates right here right here are my embossing folders and I have like a little inventory book right here um, it's loose right now um, I'm planning on either hole punching it or putting it in plastic like photo sleeves but I have all of the folders um, embossed on paper and then also <clears throat> in this box I have all the folders and then it has a design. Uh, most of them it has this um, embossed also. And all I did was I took some used um, colored file folders and I cut them to size and I taped up the ends. And that's pretty much it. It was <laughs> not very um, hard at all. So right here, these two cases hold my bigs dies. And then these are big dies also. These are thins but they're not like the thinlets so I just have them sitting here. Um, I have a little mini nap laminator, uh, eye top tools and on this top box is where I have all of my sprays. Most of these are DIY home sprays so I have some that are used that I have made with acrylic paint. Some are just colored with food coloring and others are like the shimmer sprays. I don't know if I have one. So the shimmer sprays or the glitter mists, I use my Stamping Up reinkers for the ink color. And then um, Perfect Pearls for the shimmer. And so right here I have all my sequins. And underneath this box has all of my acrylic paints. And it's just the cheap Apple Barrel 50 cent containers from Walmart. And here's my mink. Um, I think this one's a mini mink. Um, and I got this as a gift. And then the Zutter, which I got that off of eBay. And then a Fascinator stapler, a corner cruncher, um, a crocodile, and then there's my silhouette right there. <clears throat> and then on top I just have um, burlap and some fabric and yarn in one box and then the other box has ribbon, moss, and raffia. And so I'll come across right here. That top I didn't really do much different from the last video but as you can see 
the work surface, you can actually see it this time. It's not covered with stuff. So here's my work surface. And then <clears throat> on this side, this is where I put my spray station. Um, I obviously cover it, but um, this is my cutting mat. And then this is my little embellishment center. And so I have buttons in there and more buttons and some clothespins and some wood embellishments. These next two drawers used to hold wood embellishments and then it just got, they were in packaging and it got too bulky. So I just kind of threw the stuff in here because I wasn't really sure what to do with it. And so I'll move across. On here is my little um, organizer from Harbor Freight that I have painted. I absolutely love this thing. So I have little misters, um, some sandpaper on the bottom. And on the top I have some whiteouts, some paper, some foam squares, and some tools. Uh, this one is like double-sided tape, slots, um, foam tape, uh, painter's tape, and then masking tape. Is that masking tape? I don't know if that's what it's called or not. Then uh, post-it note tape, and then adhesives. And then on the top I have some tools, some just various tools, and there's my rulers. And then I have my water sprays. Um, uh, Gamsol, some baby oil, and my little um, embossing powder tool. And then right here is my boys' center. It's still here. Um, I'm planning on moving it in the house, but here it sits for now. And then again, I showed this in my last video. And if you haven't seen my first video, I'll go. It, I'll try and link it below. I'm not absolutely sure I know how to do that, but I will definitely try. Um, so this is just a modified shoe rack and it has mainly my package flowers and it has some stickers also. And so over here on this side I have um, some stamps and then underneath that there is the mink um, foil and mink accessories. Um, these 12 by 12 cases hold all of my stickers and I just have them organized by category. And so there's all of those. And then up on top, I have um, loose paper. Um, and I have my Halloween, Christmas, and miscellaneous holidays separated from the rest of the paper. And this just has some um, paper for mixed media stuff. Um, this miscellaneous. Um, that's birthday. And then different specialty paper. Um, this little suitcase right here holds uh, my vintage stuff for mixed media or craft projects. And so I have kind of like some of the Tim Holtz stuff in here and this is Spellbinders, I believe, um, when these were at Tuesday morning. Don't know who is favorite to me, Tuesday morning or Joanne's right now. And so I have these really cool old postcards. Like this one is from, gosh, what does it say? 1903. These are so awesome. I probably will never use them. I just will probably keep them because <laughs> I just think they're very cool. And it's just some vintage looking stuff. Some new old looking vintage. Um, some tickets. And like I said, some Tim Holtz stuff. Um, right down here I have a scrap paper. Right here I have my Nina that I buy from Walmart. It's not the expensive, heavy duty stuff, but it works for me. And then I just have some computer paper, some scrap paper, and then these paint and creates that I got from Tuesday morning. And then I have some 12 by 12 sticker sheets and then some cutouts. And then right here, this is new since my last video. And these are cards that my mother has made and sent to me and us. Um, throughout the years and rather than just put them in a box or whatever throw them away I just decided that I would start decorating my wall with them. So that's what I've done Um, right here's a ribbon holder. There's my washi tape holder um, There's my loose flowers And like I mentioned in my last video I made the washi tape holder out of cardboard and it's organized by color pretty much um, There's my stamping up reinkers, which 
is funny that I have reinkers because I do not have any stamping of ink pads. <laughs> and that's because I bought those w uh, along with a, a group of items of scrapbooking. There's my stickles. Um, some cleaning stuff. And then over here I have my little um, letter center, I guess. It's just a mixture of wood and metal letters, decorative letters. I'm trying to move the camera slow because I shot this before and I was going to give you all with lash. So I'm trying it again and I'm trying not to move the camera around too much. So this is my work area, uh, my main work area. And so that's why I like to have everything like on this side pretty much. And in the cabinet is more stamps and my glitter box. Um, right here, it's just miscellaneous. Um, there's some card bases. The pre-made ones that you can get at Michael's or Tuesday morning. Um, these are my inks. So those are my bigger ink pads. Those are my dew drops and my distress cubes. And then on top, uh, my uh, Neo colors. And then I have watercolors. And then my Prismacolor colored pencils. There's my Kiritaki watercolors. And my stamping tool by Hampton Arts. Um, my ATG gun, which I have no idea how to put the tape in, so I'm planning on bringing that inside and watching a YouTube video on how to do that. Because <laughs> I have no idea. I don't even know if I have the right tape. Um, here's all my acrylic blocks. <clears throat> and it looks like there's a lot here, <laughs> but I really did go through them to see if I can, g can get rid of any of them. And they're expensive, so I got rid of any that weren't looking good, but most of them I kept. So I have all my markers in these, so I have my sharpers, my sharpers, my sharpies, uh, close to my heart markers, Tombow and Distress, um, glitter pins, and then miscellaneous markers, so like my Corolla markers, and pretty much the ones that I bought at Tuesday morning. And then these two um, kind of holders. This first one holds um, paper, so I have mixed media paper in here. I have the Bristol paper, and then this next one is just watercolor paper. And so when I have scraps of these, I am going to put them back in the container with them instead of in my white holder so I know what kind of paper they are. So this is my little inventory book, and then I have some um, journals. And then this is an art journal also, and it's just a book that I bought from uh, Goodwill. And then this is my Martha Stewart cutting pad. And then up on top is where I have all my glues, my gesso, um, glossy accents. I have my texture paste. Um, this right here, this tacket, if you don't have it and your stamps are becoming where they won't stick to your embossing block, or if you're if you have wood mounted stamps and you're unmounting them, this is absolutely fabulous for making it tacky and not like glue tacky will stick, but tacky. That's why it's called tack it over and over. I love that stuff. Um, and I had to buy it from Walmart site to store. They didn't actually have it in the store, so I had to order it online and then they shipped it to the store and then you just pick it up like where the layaway area is. So up on top I have my cigar boxes. And then if I go across, I have right here all of my decorative scissors. Maybe one day I'll get rid of these, but I really do like them. They're probably like very ancient, but I really love them. So right here um, is a totally Tiffany organizer. It's the only one that I have. It's kind of just like cardboard drawers. So I have like <clears throat> my texture, spatulas, daubers, sponges. <clears throat> On the other side over here of my embossing center. So I'm just going to do a quick peek on all the drawers. Just more embellishments. Um, magnets in there. Uh, bottle caps. I've got flowers and foam things in there. And then these. I bought a huge thing of these gems at Hobby Lobby one time. 
And I will never use all of these, but my boys absolutely love using those on projects. So on this set, I have all of my brads. So, and that's why I absolutely love this little cabinet because it stores so much stuff. The only downside is, here's more brads. Sometimes, like this drawer, sometimes it sticks. So more brads. And then keys and metal pieces. And brads that are in containers. And then like paper clip type things. And then like I said, this is my main work area right here. I have my Spectrum Noir and I have some pro markers. And then these are like a generic brand of alcohol markers. And then I have my little caddy, which I got from the dollar store. It's got my scissors and it's got my watercolor, um, whatever you call these, the pins, but like the tubes, the empty tubes. And then here are my watercolor brushes. And then I wanted to ask you guys if you had any ideas. Um, I went to Sam's Club yesterday and they have like the six piece refrigerator bin storage thing that's usually $19.99 and it was $9.99 yesterday. So I grabbed it and I have no idea what to do with this. It's for eggs. <laughs> But I, for the life of me, I've been thinking and thinking of what I can use this for, and I just cannot. The only thing I can think to use it for is to, like, mix paints. <laughs> but it's just got, like, 12 little egg holes, and then it has this top that slides on. But I just cannot think. So if you have any, any, any sorry about that, if you have any ideas of what I could possibly do with that, please share with me, because I don't... I don't know at this point what to do with it other than put it in the refrigerator and use it for eggs. But this is one piece and then it comes with these two other pieces and then it comes with two of these refrigerator bins. And I know Jennifer McGuire has shown in her videos, I don't know if it's that kind or not, but um, two of those big bins come in the pack of six things and it's $10. So if you have a Sam's Club close by and you were thinking about organizing with those, that is an absolutely great, great buy. So that's the, uh, first update video that I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to do a quick, like, walkthrough over here. I did clean this up a little bit. It's not done completely. Um, as you can see, the dresser is still there. I haven't got it cleaned out or sold yet. And I still have some containers on the floor. Um, I forgot to show in my first video the loft area, which is basically just <laughs> storage. So I keep every container because <laughs> I keep containers and stuff like that because you never know where you're going to use them. And I have actually gone up there and been like, oh, wow, I could totally use that. And I don't have to go out and buy it. So um, I'm tr sorry if I <laughs> um, tried to talk too fast. And hopefully you could understand what I was saying. But I think you kind of get the gist of where I'm at. And um, I look forward to getting more done on this other side and showing you that also. I also look forward to getting the, my new work surface done right here and showing you how I put that together and how that's going to work. So thank you so, so much for joining me and watching. And I really, really appreciate, like I said at the beginning, <clears throat> all the subscribers that have come on since I posted this first video. And all of the comments, um, it's just absolutely wonderful. So um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you're not already a subscriber and you would like to subscribe and be notified of when I post new videos, please subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thanks so much. Bye. <music>